Hello everyone, I am Katharina and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to have uh, just a chit chat, uh, you know, hang out. I just want to talk. Um, so if you want to join me, grab a cup of coffee, a cup of tea or whatever that fits you. Uh, if you are bored or just something, if you, yeah, just want to listen to something, I'm here. <laughs> I want to start to have videos like this, uh, hang out, because I think it's uh, important, you know, to talk about different things going on in Second Life. And of course, there will be some things from real as well. So. If this is something you would like me to do more, just let me know. <laughs> and if you have any ideas, like if you want me to do something, just let me know and I will see what I can do. So, you know, I love to hear from you guys what you would like me to film and get into. Um, when I logged in in Second Life, I saw something uh, that an event going on now, uh, Speak No Evil, it is called. Um, it's uh, anti-bullying, you know, cyberbullying a campaign going on from the 7th of February to the 28th of February. Um, so the cause is like cyberbullying is a relatively new phenomenon. You know, kids have been bullying other kids from generations. However, with the introduction of the technology to expand their horizons, the latest uh, generations have been able to bully others through the use of these technologies. Uh, cyberbullying itself is defined as the willful and repeated harm inflicted through the use of computers, cell phones, and other electronic devices. This is from their page. Um, you can find it on speaknoevilsecondlife.wordpress.com. Uh, I think this is uh, very good that uh, people are doing this and there are different uh, designers that will sell things and 100% of what they make will go to this course. Um, I will link everything uh, down below uh, for this event. I think uh, this is very important that everyone actually go to visit the sim and you know just uh, have a look and look what's uh, written on the page and everything because I think, like I said, this is very, very important cause. Um, how I say, um, you know, cyberbullying has been around for so many years and when there is no face, you know, uh, people can be so tough behind the keyboard, you know, and I have seen so much really bad stuff. I have I have known people in real life that has committed suicide because of being bullied. And this is not okay. Just saying, it's like this is not fucking okay. I mean, what's wrong with people that they need to bully? It's like you don't get uh, it's like you don't get born to learn, you know, to, to bully other people. Uh, bullying comes from the parents. Like, I think it comes from the parents because kids pick up on negativity around when they're home. They you know, pick up what uh, your parents are saying about other people. So, of course, the kids will think that, oh, it's okay to talk nasty about another person, and so on. So, <clears throat> I think <laughs> you don't, well, of course, there will be people that have had an amazing childhood that 
amazing, you know, uh, and still will become a bully. And I, I don't know why <laughs> they find it so, they find so much pleasuring in that uh, being nasty to another human being. I would really like for you guys to just comment or send me mail or just something. Tell me your view about it. Tell me your story if you have been through uh, something like this. I have been bullied and I know exactly what everything uh, about this is and how it feels. Uh, but I have been one of the lucky people that have grown much stronger uh, and learned how to deal with bullies, not just in real life, but on the internet as well. Uh, it's like when you enter a game like uh, Second Life, you need to have a thick skin. It's not good that you need to grow the thick skin through the years you are actually active in Second Life. You need to know what you're getting into. And I've seen a few videos on uh, YouTube about people talking about how Second Life ruined their lives. And it's like, how will you know that, you know, when, when you meet someone that that person will actually crush you in some kind of way? You trust that person <laughs> with your whole heart and and they just, you know, walk all over you and will do anything to just, yeah, shit on you. I don't know the right word for and how, to ex ex how to explain myself in this, but how do you know when to enter a uh, virtual game that you can get into terrible things? There is no warning <laughs> in Second Life. It's like you are on your own when you enter this. Of course, you can read the TOS about everything, about things that is not allowed. Of course, it's not allowed to bully and stuff, but this is only written. You see, every day is like in Second Life, uh, people will do <laughs> uh, the opposite of everything that says in the TOS. And if... Uh, if you confront the trollers, bully people, that I'm going to call the Lin Labs, blah, blah, they will make more fun of you, you know? They have such a pleasure to just bug, 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 and bug you. And they will not stop as long as they get the attention from you. And I think it's so sad when I look at, you know, on YouTube, that most videos from Second Life is about trolling. Just look it up, look it up on YouTube and see what's coming. If you type in Second Life, it's almost, almost about trolling. It's so sad that, you know, a place like this is like going to have a reputation like that because other people have so much pleasure to just shit all over it. <laughs> it's just not right. So... I think there should be a warning somehow. There should be a person that could actually explain to you what you can get uh, into in Second Life, um, what you need to watch out for. Uh, because uh, weak minded, I don't mean to say that weak minded, but there are so many, you know, beautiful souls out there. They're so naive. There is like all about the love and like believe good in every single one and think that, oh no, that person will not harm me and et cetera, et cetera. You just need to be a little more skeptic. It's like, I'd rather be paranoid than naive, you know, <laughs> because I, I've learned the hard way. I've been 13 years in Second Life. I had to learn the hard way. There was no one around me when I started to tell me how everything was going to be when you meet another human being. You get, you know, you're seeing people and you have an amazing friendship and yeah. I have as well argued a lot in Second Life with people. 
it's it's years since now, of course, because I have learned that I I don't want to put any kind of energy into some kind of arguing over the internet. Nor do nor do I do it in real life because I I pick my fights or how I say. I am a person who likes to talk the troubles out and you know and not raise my voice, no nothing because what it does not help. <laughs> you things will just get worse if you just snaps. And I've learned so much through the years how to control my anger, how to behave in a virtual world, how to be and always know that there's other people behind every computer, you know. But, of course, I will not take any kind of crap from anyone, of course. Um, the best way to just, to just ignore people that will put you down, because it's dead end to keep arguing over internet, you know. You can argue and argue and you keep telling people this and that and there is no reason to to be like that, I think. So I have grown a lot, a lot of experience and since 2014 I have really grown so much. And sometimes when I look back, I don't even recognize myself, how I actually used to be and how I am today. I'm two different p uh, people. But that's life. You, you grow and you learn from things. And I'm really thankful for that. And this year, I turned 40 years old. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I'm getting old. Well... I'm turning 40 and I'm actually not afraid to turn 40. I was so friggin' scared when I was turning 30. I was like, I don't want to wake up. I want to sleep. Don't bother me. Nothing is going ever to make me happy again. I, you know, I was freaking out of my age. Like, oh, I'm not where I want to be in my life. <laughs> but now, like when I'm feeling that in a few months that I will turn 40, uh, I'm so excited to actually walk into a new path in my life. And I'm enjoying actually to be this woman I become into. And yeah, it's pretty amazing because I don't feel old at all. It's just a number and I'm, I'm childish. I'm so mischievous, you know, I'm crazy at times <laughs> oh so it's like the only thing that i have really changed i pick my things uh what i want to put my energy into and i really really love that part and i think many people have a lot to learn how to put what you want to put your energy into right so yeah I'm gonna, going to make myself a little bit more coffee and I will be right back. So, I got my coffee. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's important to grow as a human. Um, I want to know how you guys have grown, you know, um, after being a part of Second Life for years, or if you only have been in Second Life a year or two, I, I really want to hear your experience because this is so interesting. And I really want more people to tell their story. Uh, I think it's amazing that people come to Second Life to create, uh, you know, another life for themselves. Like they quit their jobs in real life, um, they have. Uh, they are becoming amazing designers in Second Life. They make money to, you know, to provide for themselves in real life. And Second Life is so much, you know. And, you know, you can find your love in Second Life. You find best friends in Second Life. And, you know, the, how you say, um, you can speak with people from the whole world. The only thing that you just need to be careful because 
on every place on the internet you will find people that will shit down your throat somehow. <laughs> you just need to watch out. So yeah. And you know, like myself, uh, I'm a very introvert uh, person. Uh, real life, I, I have few good friends. Um, I, um, I'm not so into, you know, doing big things, big events. Because I like my quiet time. I just love to read my book. I love music. I just love to spend time with my my family here, you know. And um, I don't have... I don't want to be around too much people. And just like now that I'm sitting talking to you people, I have no idea who I'm talking to, but I have a message for everyone that... I'm growing, growing, doing this as well, you know, get to know myself, my getting out of my comfort zone, you know, just doing this. You know, my first video on YouTube, I was about to crap myself, being honest. I was like, oh my God, so nervous. <laughs> oh my God. But I did it and I was really proud doing it. I, I am, I'm not even shy. I just don't like being around people. I just don't like to talk. I hate small talk. I just want to hear a good story and things like that, you know. And, you know, yeah, all of that. So, everyone has their own situation, real life. Someone are struggling with depression in real life. They come to Second Life to just do what you know, pleases them to, to get some happiness in life. And I think that is amazing. And I think more people should get together and talk about their experience. And I'm sure there is something in Second Life about that, that you can join a group or something to talk about each other's experience. And that is a, I think that is a good thing. Of course, you need to be careful with that as well. Uh, someone in Second Life would tell that they are a psychiatrist or... Yeah, you just need to take this that for granted or how I say. Uh, you just... The thing is that whatever people say what they are, they can be good people. <laughs> uh, you just need to... Don't be afraid to open up, but you don't need to spill the whole bottle while you're doing things, you know. Because it's, uh, it's good uh, to so socialize. <laughs> um, and you know, people with this disabil disability, uh, you know, see my tongue, blah, 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 disabilities, if that's the correct saying, I think. Uh, then come to Second Life, I can do things, you know. And I think it's amazing that People can do things in Second Life that can provide for them real life, like I said. But we need to get less trolls in here. And people need to try to not give any of the bullying, the trolls, any kind of attention. It's like, of course, there are some people that love to argue, and they will argue 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 with you and okay they can have have at it but remember that will be on youtube <laughs> but for those that i've seen that got so mad that they're like screaming their guts out on the microphone like oh my god and you can hear that the, the person is like middle age um, and they get so mad and they say the most nastiest things and the trolls are just laughing at them because they got exactly what they wanted. Their reactions, strong reactions. Because some people get really, really pissed off. What you need to do if you get some trolls around you, block them. What are they going to do? You know, you just block them. It's that simple. You don't even need to talk to them. Because you know that they don't have a life. <laughs> because they don't. When they go around shitting and crabbing all over other people's things and want to ruin your second life don't argue with those people just click block ignore and just move on because 
<laughs> I don't think they will stand there and talk to some empty uh, space because they don't get the reaction from an empty space. <laughs> they don't. So if you can manage doing that and don't get mad, just yeah, because they're not worth your time. It's like, let them do whatever they want to do, but you do you and just walk away. My God, it's like I get so embarrassed when I see all the trolls videos on the on YouTube. That is just stupid. So yeah, people will always try to bring you down. You know, you know that you know this that if you're a happy person, you smile to the world, right? You're giving other people compliments. You're enjoying that other people have a great life. You're just happy for someone else. If you have all that, why would you go and troll? Why would you uh, start drama? Because people who have a miserable life themselves will try to bug you. They will try to get you down on their own level. It's so sad. It's so, so sad, but they take pleasure in bullying and trolling because it's so fun <laughs> for them. But like I said, they are really depressed people that are doing that and they want nothing good for other people. Maybe sometime they will learn that what they did is just like, yeah, no words for it. I, I get speechless sometimes when I look at these trolling videos. So yeah, not good. So yeah, other than that, I have been around a little bit. I've been shopping a little bit here in Second Life. I got a lot now in February. I was like, oh my God, why have I been buying so much? Soon the Lux box is arriving, powder box. Powder pack, it's powder box, powder pack is arriving. I only have two subscription boxes. I used to on the decorate or what it's called. And yeah, that was the last one I have. I have never tried Bish box. I have seen like, uh, I love when you're getting a review video on YouTube. I love Strawberry Sai Sing, how you call her. Shout out to Strawberry Sing, love you girl. <laughs> She's amazing. I watch her so much. She's actually my big inspiration for actually being here on YouTube. So thank you, Strawberry. Appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, uh, when I saw a review on the Bish Box, it's uh, some cool stuff, but some down cool stuff. So I was thinking, nah, that's not nothing for me because I, I like to buy, you know, individual things. I don't want all the things in one package because half of the package I'm sure I will not use. But the Lux box and the Power Pack, I, yeah, I use everything in those package and those are my favorites. So I will continue to film unboxing video for that. And, and soon there will be a Colabor 88 again. Uh, I can't wait to use more money. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, a lot of events are coming up now, soon, in the middle of February. That's almost my favorite time in Second Life. Oh, shop, 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 shoop, shoop. <laughs> um, so, yes. So, this was a little bit of a chit chat video. Um, I will link down below my blog. Uh, and you can find on my blog what I'm wearing, what you're seeing. <laughs> and I will link down to the Speak No Evil as well, because that's a really, really important cause. Um, so I really want to hear your story about how you live your second life. I want to get to know you guys. Um, so... You can contact me here in Second Life, or you can type on YouTube, whatever. Just tell me your story. I would really, really love that. So, if there's some video you would uh, would like me to film, just 
put a request and I will see what I can do. Um, and um, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. You know, either way, it's, it's okay. <laughs> um, so I will have video like this up more because I enjoy this talking to you guys. You know, heart to heart. Um, so yeah, make sure to subscribe to my channel to, you know, to join me in my Katharina family. I love you all. <laughs> A big hug from me to you guys. And thank you so much again for watching. So until next time. You have a fabulous time. Bye. <laughs>